Hi, I'm Roy Aaron Espiritu and welcome to my gratitude channel. Hi, so I haven't really posted in this corner in this Onboard Gratitude Express episode for quite a while because I thought I'd love to put a different spin or perspective to it like uh, not forcing gratitude out of people other people but waiting for the right time for that moment and seizing and capturing that moment and sharing them with you and so my new method is when I feel and when the moment calls for it and I capture their gratitude through of course the lens of Gratitude Express and then share them with you unedited in its purest form so enjoy this um, most wonderful people's gratitude list because it's just for me authentic and is um heartwarming so thank you hi everybody i'm ashley and today i'm grateful for my family and my friends and um actually my extended family here at my work um we actually celebrated our friend katie's and niece katie's birthday and it was very special she got to um hang out with us and and her nephews and nieces and her family and friends so that was fun and I'm also grateful for the gift of singing that God has given me give us something <laughs> He's like, give us something <laughs> I can't make you love me and you can't make your heart feel Something that I want Here in the dark In these final hours I will lay down my heart And feel the power that you want So there's that <laughs> And also um, You know, just The simple things in life That we're able to do You know like afford a roof over our head, um, buy food and stuff like that. And yeah, just for health and, and everything else. And friends like Kelsey. And friends like Kelsey who <laughs> like to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot to be grateful for. And especially with the times right now, you know, we just have to be grateful and thankful that we're still here and, you know, able to breathe and live and see our loved ones so there you go Hello everyone this is Kathy and um a good friend Aaron um requested me to share with you things that I'm grateful for so let me start by saying I am grateful because I have a job a job that helps me to support my family in the Philippines especially my kids and um and helps me to pay my bills still so that's a huge thing for me thank god i have a job uh, i'm still lucky because most of us has lost their job because of this pandemic so that's what i'm so grateful for and i feel so still lucky um what more that i'm grateful for i am grateful because i am not depressed anymore i am now more positive and looking forward for the future because before when I you know when I was I when I got depressed because things fell apart fell apart and and I was on my rock bottom I developed lots of pimples um, I'm losing my hair I'm starting to get pale, especially on this side so right now I'm so happy and so grateful because my my hair are thick now and I have no lots of pimples anymore. So that's what I'm grateful for. Uh, I know you find it too shallow, but yes, that makes me so happy. Uh, what more? I am so grateful because I have lots of good people around me. People that supports me, understand me, and help me to become a better person. Um, 
before I lost my self-esteem. I don't want to go out and stop. I just work seven days a week. I, 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 I'm beating myself up. But right now, I am grateful because... I'm starting to you to realize that you need to give some time for yourself to keep you sane, you know. So I'm so grateful because I take time to have a day off. I take time to dress up. I take time to to eat what I want to to maintain my sanity. So that makes me happy too. Um, I am grateful because I have three beautiful children who's. Um, they, who's who are good children um though i'm apart we are apart but we adore and love each other and i that and i am so grateful because sooner i'm gonna see them and be re reunited with them and and it's time for me to take good care of them so so i'm so grateful because i have a very positive outlook in life now stuff that makes me look the days look forward to like I I have to get up because sooner or later I'm gonna be seeing my kids I have to get ready because sooner I'm gonna hug them already stuff like that so just just be positive just always believe in yourself and things will start going to change okay so basically that's it thank you Aaron for this opportunity thank you bye guys uh, hi today I'm grateful for the life that was given to me for the opportunity to explore East Coast because currently I'm in New Jersey we're traveling to Maryland right now and I'm grateful sa lahat ng mga friends ko kay Aaron, kay Mariah, kay Kathy and sa lahat ng mga co-workers ko and especially kay Honey, my special friend, my baby loves, my sister sa another mother and the one who understand me, the one who always uh, pull me up, always inspiring me and of course, to my family, especially to my daughter. I'm so grateful sa lahat ng mga nare-receive ko na mga blessings sa everyday life. And I think that's it. And especially to my special someone, I'm so grateful kasi nakasama ko siya for how many months na hindi kami. The last time was May and again this time. So thanks sa mga opportunity na binigay sa akin to be with him. And that's it. Thank you. I'm John, and today I am grateful to be out here in Santa Monica in this awesome air, outside with people again, with a group of people I just met. I'm grateful for my family at home who's safe and fed and have a roof over their head. And I'm grateful for a job again to be able to work and to make money to support my family and my life. And for I'm grateful for my health and for other people's health and people <laughs> being healthy again because it was you know it's been different and I'm grateful to be uh, I'm just grateful to be alive and connected to uh, the universe <laughs> hi my name is Maria I just want to say how grateful I am I've been a hairdresser for 52 years and I actually I have customers that have been really great I mean really nice one of them it was uh, Margaret Thatcher and I worked at iMagnus for a long time so that was a really nice store so now I have my two children that uh, actually one of them is a lawyer and the other one she works for Apple and he's a lawyer and uh, they went to USC fight on and uh, they're doing very well and I'm just so grateful what they've been doing for themselves and and for myself I'm just very grateful that I have my health and, uh, and another thing I have a grandson my grandson's name is Theodore he's four months 
and honestly I am just so grateful to have him and my family and my friends that that's you know you really have to be lucky to have so many friends I'm very lucky um, and I just with all this happening with Afghanistan and all this things I just hope things get better and we should all get our shots we all have to help each other We've gotta do things together my name is Peter and I'm grateful to be sitting here with my wonderful friend Aaron in the park here in Santa Monica that I brought my children up in this used to be the go-to place for me and my kids to play to play and to hang out and talk to the other parents. So it has a very special attachment to me. And um, I love my friend Aaron. He always makes me laugh. He's always smiling. He's always up. And I just love his energy. And for that, I'm really, really grateful. And um, I'm also grateful to be a present, single, happy dad to my twin boys. Who I love so much. So thank you, everybody. Okay, I'm Richard. I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for you, Aaron, for the beautiful cake celebrating my honey's 30th natal day, for the air we breathe, for the friends we love, and for the love we get in return. And to be here today with you and to do this gratitude for the first time with you. That's it. <laughs> thank you. I'm Sergio. I'm grateful to be alive. And had a crazy teenage life and fixed all that and didn't die and I got things to do. First thing I'm grateful for is uh, having breath and having life and having a brain that works. And it took a lot to get here again, so I'm happy I'm back. I'm really grateful for Christina Bonilla, who I've known 17 years ago. Um, we dated for three years in our youth, but no one had the courage to say, hey, I really like you, let's like be together together. So we parted ways back then and reached out this year and it's been honestly the greatest wait I've ever had uh, for someone. Uh, very special girl, very intelligent, very emotionally savvy and sound and her heart is huge. One of the things I'm most grateful for is that I am nicer just being around her, just watching her actions. And so if it's if, rela if relationships are about growth, like I'm getting a lot of growth from, from her and yeah, love her to death. She's a great girl. I'm also grateful for having my cat. You know, he's been my buddy for six years now. He's been through a wedding and divorce. He's been through moves. He's been to the desert. He's been to the snow. And he's my number one guy. And we take care of each other. What's his name? His name's Gizen. He's a black tux tuxedo cat. And he just, he's always, he's always down and he understands everything. Like right now he's at home. Uh, in my like, room, like, you know, alone. Back, like, but, like, you know, I give him all the love when I come back home. Yeah, but I'm such a, like, because, you know, like, he's worth it. I, I'm, like, I'm grateful to have the courage to entrepreneur again. It's at the core of my heart to entrepreneur. And now I'm a software engineer. And to utilize that again. In the beginning, you know, just to make cash, which would be great. But later on, I'm grateful to try the things that really matter. Like helping people, helping clean clean water, helping clean air, helping give electricity to countries that need it, which is like the next stage of my journey. I just had to learn all the coding stuff first and I got it down. So essentially I'm grateful to start the next stage of, you know, adulthood, which is like do something meaningful, meaningful for humanity. So that's next on my list. Hola, les quiero compartir un ratito, unos segundos. Estoy agradecido con Dios y con toda mi familia, mis amigos, inclusive a una persona de que tanto lo quisimos, una gran amiga, Yoli, que nos está viendo en el cielo. Y gracias a todos los amigos y a mi familia. Están lejos, los extraño mucho y los quiero. Gracias. Thank you, my friend Roy. Love you, my friend. Thank you very much. Love you too. Thank you.